thank you for clicking this video. Um, we are working on uh, the book starting out with Java and uh, we are in chapter uh, 5 and the program we are uh, trying to solve today is called savings account and um, uh, the program essentially says we should uh, we should create a savings savings account class that would store the annual interest rate and a starting balance um, and then we create uh, two methods uh, deposit method and withdraw method and also we we want to create a uh, we want to create a method that calculates the monthly interest rate uh, for that uh, savings account and um, after we create uh, that, uh, that class we want to create another class that would test the savings, the savings class um, which, which will prompt the user for the interest, uh, the starting balance and the monthly deposits and withdrawals so first of all we have to create uh, we have to create the savings account class and um, in the uh, first we have to create um, variables for the the rate and um, the balance we have to create a fields for these uh, the rate and for the balance and also we have to create a con the constructor and we would store the rate and we would store also the balance rate rate balance equal balance so after that after we um, after we create the constructor we have to create the deposit public void public void a deposit which would accept a double and we will call it amount and uh, when the user calls this method we want to add whatever the user enters to the balance so we'll say this balance will be increment to the amount the user enters we would do uh, the withdrawal or the opposite action withdraw double amount this balance we would uh, subtract the amount after that we have to calculate uh, we have to calculate the monthly uh, monthly interest It doesn't take anything so we'll say rate equals rate divided rate divided by 100 divided by 12 times balance so that would be the rate so we have to add whatever the amount is to the balance so after that we have to create a method to call uh, to call the uh, to call the balance to, to, to see the balance public void get balance uh, instead of void we will say double we will say return balance and you will create another method 
get interest it will return rate rate divided by 100 divided by 12 times violence rate time is uh, times the balance which would give us the monthly interest for that account so we would go to to another class to test our um, our class so they say test the class in a program that calculates calculates the balance of a savings savings account at the end of a period of time it should it should ask the user for the annual interest rate the starting balance and the number the number of months that have passed since the account was established a loop should uh, should then iterate once for each for every month uh, performing the following so basically what they want what they want is to create another class that would um, ask the user for the annual interest rate the starting balance and the number of months so we would create a scanner scanner class scanner class we want to ask the user annual interest interest rate and uh, we want to store it the rate to to a double but we want next next double after that we want to ask uh, starting balance double balance kind of next double and after that we want to call our class we have to create our class and it will take the rate and amount and balance Mm -mm, not this kind of savings account after that we have to ask the months how many months uh, and months it's kind of then we have to use a for loop zero I I less than months I incremented by one each time and they say you have to iterate uh, to every month uh, performing the following ask the user uh, for the for the amount deposited into the account uh, during that month use the class method uh, to add the amount to the account so basically you have to use the you have to ask the user a deposit for month you have to ask the user for that month double um, deposit next uh, next double uh, with withdrawal for month i plus one uh, double with strong scan double but after we 
we ask the deposit we want to uh, call the the class savings account and we want to call the deposit method in that class and we want to deposit the money and after the withdrawal we want to do the same but we want to call the withdrawal method and um, after that we have to calculate uh, the interest rate monthly interest rate they say um, after the last iteration the program should display uh, the ending balance the total number of, of deposits, deposits uh, the total amount of withdrawals and the total interest earned so we have to uh, print the totals the balance so uh, above the for loop we have to create variables for this total deposit equals zero double total with draw zero double total uh, interest equals zero so we want to add to the total deposit after we call the the deposit method total deposit would be added to whatever deposit that is and we have to do the same for total with withdrawals have to increment by whatever the user withdraws but for for the interest um, we would we would call it uh, later so now now we have to print it balance would it be savings account get balance uh, total deposits total deposits total with rolls total withdrawals and lastly total interest we have to say savings get interest so let's uh, let's run it let's run it uh, let's run it again um, annual interest rate let's say 3% starting balance 100 months just uh, one month the first month deposit would be 900 and there's no um, there's no withdrawals so they say uh, the balance is one thousand and two dollars and fifty cents the total deposit is 900 the total withdrawals is um, is zero and the uh, total interest is two dollars and um, and some cents uh, I think I think it's it's correct because the the two dollars would be the monthly the, the first month of that so I think I think we, we got it we got it correct and um, I, I will I will post the 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 source code uh, in the description like I always do and uh, if you want to um, follow along um, the code uh, you could find it in my github uh, page uh, thank you for watching and i hope you i hope this uh, this helped you a little bit and if you have any questions uh, let me know i will answer um, to the best of my ability and um, 
if you have any if you have any uh, pro programming challenges um, in Java or Python uh, post it and uh, we will solve it together uh, thank you for watching again and I'll see you next time